Hi, I'm Bill Neininger, uh, one of the bird watchers, leaders down in the Metro Parks. Been doing this for about 40 years. It has become my passion to bird watch, my obsession, my therapy, however you want to look at it. <laughs> when I'm out birding, I don't care about my family, my wife, my kids, my bills, my work. It's just total relaxation. This is pretty much for me. And um, I love to share uh, birding with people. We help teach and, and, and lead walks with my other two compadres here. And uh, we enjoy what we do and, and I enjoy it. Okay. My name is Ken Gober. Uh, I am retired from Cleveland Metro Parks. I worked there for nearly 38 years. Uh, the last 25 years or so as manager of Rocky River Nature Center. And um, uh, I've, I've been birding Golly, I started in college, really, uh, with an ornithology course, and uh, I've just really enjoyed it ever since. Started a few bird walks as uh, as I was working at Rocky River Nature Center. And I think that's kind of where I met these guys, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, just enjoyed in my retirement as well. Dave Grass Kemper, uh, one of the leaders on the Saturday uh, morning with the birds. Uh, monthly morning, Saturday with the birds. Uh, been birding uh, from a very, very young age. Started probably maybe before I was even 10, birding back in my uh, parents' uh, in the woods in our backyard. And uh, would be back there with my binoculars and my Golden's Field Guide, learning birds by myself. Uh, it was something I got hooked on from a very young age. I asked my father to take me down to some bird walks uh, in the metro parks. Um, and they used to have uh, bird walks over at Mastic Road picnic area for a number of years. He would take me down there. And then um, I guess those walks were discontinued at some point. I started coming to the walks here at Rocky River. And that's where I believe I met uh, Ken and Bill at some point. And um, so I've been birding for probably about 40 years. and. Um, just like these two guys, it's an absolute love and a passion, something I really enjoy and something I enjoy sharing with other people, especially people that are new to the hobby. Um, sometimes you get people that are down here that are regulars and they've seen birds, uh, you know, before and they're used to it, but to get someone new that they see something for the first time and you see their excitement, uh, that's something I really enjoy sharing with people. and. Um, and of course, I enjoy birding with these two guys as well. Uh, great friends through the years, and uh, even we, we always say, even if the birding is bad, uh, we always have a good time. The company it's, it's is good. good. Yeah, <laughs> it's good company. And like uh, to, to say what uh, to follow up with what Bill said as well. It's it, it is very therapeutic. You really kind of forget the, the rest of the world for a couple hours, and and you really, especially now in this day and age, you really kind of connect, reconnect with nature and with people. I think I think a lot of people are a little, with this um, social media kind of stuff, maybe aren't connecting with people on a personal level much anymore. So I think this maybe helps mm -hmm. as well, getting connected not just with people, uh, but, but with nature. You know, both these guys mentioned uh, sharing and uh, I don't know if I mentioned that or not, uh, but but that is very important for me as well. And, and that's true in, in everything I do. I mean, I just came back from uh, on a, a trip to Alaska, and um, you know, every time I see something, I always turn around and look. Who can I share this with? Yeah. I try and find somebody yep. to you know to share it with. And um, I think that's you know that's one of the important things for me, uh, you know, in, in leading these bird walks. Yeah, there's nothing like being out in the field all alone and seeing a rare bird and there's no one else to say, look, you know, it's just me yeah. that's looking at it. And right. So I would really wish many times that there were other people to see what we could see. And even at, at my age, I still get very excited when I see something unusual or rare. And um, I know we go chasing birds. We don't just do it here locally. We go all over north, northeastern Ohio to, to find and locate birds. Airplane. <laughs>